Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. The WBC makes it official and officially orders Wilder vs. Fury 2. Stay tuned. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, I'm still out here in Las Vegas for the Broner Pacquiao fight. And this just came across the desk. This is official per the WBC. Fresh today it just went down it says wilder versus fury 2 link is in the description it reads consistent with the wbc board of governors voting regarding the direct rematch between wbc champion deontay wilder and tyson fury the wbc is hereby notifying both camps that the free negotiation period is opened and if there is no agreement between the parties a purse bid will be conducted by the WBC on Tuesday, February 5th. They continue by saying the WBC has modified the 70-30% split and has confirmed a 60-40 to split in favor of the champion Wilder considering the market value of Tyson Fury. Listen, this is great news. I was fortunate enough to be a part of history and this big heavyweight first fight, Wilder versus Fury. I had a great time, it was at the Staples Center. Don't think the rematch will be there. I think the rematch is gonna be either in New York or in Las Vegas, you know, a tourist town. I think it's proven that it's, it's worthy of one of the major fight cities. Not saying no disrespect to LA, but you know, Vegas is a tourist town and New York venues have a lot of money, things like that. So I, it's not confirmed. They still have to reach an agreement. But what this means is they have to fight each other next. So the WBC is completely getting out of the way and allowing for this fight to happen. They're not bothering with, oh, Wilder, you got to fight your mandatory Dominic Brazil or you know Dillian White or anything else. They want this fight. They know it's a good fight. They know it's a meaningful fight. And they know this fight for the fans we kind of need closure for this now i think it's a good i think it's a good look because there's some things adjustments i want to see who makes the better adjustments in the rematch and obviously the rematch will be a greater fight in terms of i don't know what's going to happen action wise but based on how the first one happened i, I can imagine the tensions are going to run high you know tyson fury believes he won Deontay Wilder believes he won and it was a long count, you know, so I think it's going to be an epic build up, things like that. But I think it'll be overall a bigger fight. So everyone who's involved stands to gain more money. I like the 60 40 split instead of the 70 30 because per the WBC rules, it would normally be 70 30. But I think Tyson Fury, just given how he took the, the test and they're going to make a shit ton of money, especially on the back end with pay-per-view. I think that's fair to give them you know, uh, closer to a 50-50 split. And, you know, I like the WBC doing that. Now, I got to talk about this. Eddie Hearns said that the fight wasn't ordered. It was just sanctioned. Because this news is no shocker if you follow the channel. It's nothing really surprising about it. I did previous videos where the WBC said they're they're going to sanction it and they're not going to, you know, force Wilder to fight a mandatory or anything like that. They said they'll sanction this fight. They voted. And this is just a continuation of that. So me personally, I told you when Eddie Hearns was saying like, oh, it was sanctioned. It wasn't ordered. And I'm sending Fury a contract. And why is not Wilder not answering my emails? It didn't really make sense to me. It really didn't. It didn't make sense because... The world knew that this was the target. And even though at that time it was only a sanctioned fight, you know, more than likely based on what Frank Warren had been saying, I did a conference call the Monday or Tuesday after the fight. And Wilder said he's pressing for the rematch. Tyson Fury took to his social media and said he was pressing for a rematch. 
and he warned Deontay Wilder. So this is not really a shock. So once again, Eddie Hearns got it wrong. He says that the fight wasn't ordered. Well, now it has been ordered. So I expect, I fully expect the parties to reach some type of agreement. If they cannot by February 5th, which is not too far out, then they're gonna have to open up for a purse bid. Now, I think they're gonna get it together and not risk it going to a purse bid. Just to give you guys a quick synopsis, what a purse bid is, is like an auction. And the fight is basically auctioned to the highest bidder. So a, a major fight like this, Showtime and you know Al Heyman and his people, they're, they're not gonna want to, and Frank Warren also, they're not gonna want to get in a, a position where somebody else can bid on the fight and secure the rights for the fight and, and throw the fight and, and in essence get credit for the fight. Like, you know, Eddie Hearns or whoever. I remember when um, Eddie Hearns was outbid recently, last year, at the end of last year, for Dillian White was going to fight Q-Brat Pulev, but some random person, Epic Sports and Entertainment, won the purse bid, you know? And they also won versus Q-Brat Pulev versus Gerald Big Baby Miller. Again, Eddie Hearns got outbid. So, you know, a major fight like this, I think they're gonna wanna get it together and both sides will come to an agreement just so you don't risk the, the chance of Frank Warren and you know the Al Heyman's people not capturing this fight and somehow getting outbid by DAZN or I don't know whoever's out there you know some wild card like Epic Sports Entertainment like they did with Q Brad Pulev so I think we're gonna get a rematch next this is good it's good for the heavyweight division I will keep you guys advised and let you know but the WBC made it official and officially ordered this fight again when something's ordered it doesn't mean that it will happen because the WBC also ordered Luis King Kong Ortiz versus Dillian White. And to this day, they haven't fought yet. However, based on what I've heard from Frank Warren, Steven Espinoza of Showtime, Wilder himself, statements from Tyson Fury, it sounds like the powers that be are all on board to make this rematch happen. The only person who seemed a little bit iffy was Tyson Fury's trainer, Ben Davison. He made a statement that a lot of people blew out of proportion and he says that he would like to see wilder fight aj or something and then fury fight the winner but you know with the wbc ordering it and the you know i think they got to get it right and strike while the iron's hot i i just don't see them slipping letting this moment slip away and then tyson fury fights a tune-up or you know you never know what could happen in boxing so it would be horrible if tyson fury took so much punishment in that 12th round and then fought a tune-up and lost that. And then now the the money fight with Wilder and Fury 2 is now compromised. You know, similar to like Amir Khan and Kell Brook. That could have been a really big fight at a point in time. But so much has happened. Kell Brook moved up and got stopped by Triple G. Danny Garcia knocked out Amir Khan. Canelo knocked out Amir Khan. So now if they were to fight, it doesn't hold the same merit and it doesn't have the same luster that it probably did five, six, seven years ago. So I think both parties are gonna come to it and come to the table and get this done, not only for their pockets and a big fight, but also for the fans. So that's what they showed me in the, in the first. I will keep you guys updated. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Sign it off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.